Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. The Ministry of Education is considering the return of grade 6 and form 5 students during this academic year, 2019-2020, based on the advice of the Ministry of Health. This is in preparation for the common entrance and CSEC examinations. The department says it is keenly aware of the significance of all health, well-being and safety protocols as part of this consideration. The department has been engaging with several stakeholders and will continue to do so, mindful of the respective concerns of students, teachers, parents and staff. The head of the Principals Association, Valerie St. Helen Henry, spoke to Hot 7 TV News ahead of a meeting with members to discuss the ministry's proposed phased reopening. Will grade 6 and Form 5 students be returning to their classrooms soon? That is the scenario that the Education Ministry is mulling over. Stakeholders are reviewing a proposal on the matter and it is currently the top priority of the National Principals Association to provide feedback on the proposed move. The president of the National Principals Association, Valerie St. Helen Henry, says the organization has been part and parcel as it relates to the journey from the point of closure of schools to e-learning. The proposed phased reopening, she says, will be keenly discussed by the membership. She underscores that as yet, nothing is set in stone. Um, for now, a proposal was, was presented by the Ministry of Education and we are now going forward to pass on this information to the general body and to give feedback to the Ministry of Education. It's, there are a number of tough decisions to be taken. And for now, uh, I cannot say whether the proposal is, the, is going to go through or be accepted by all stakeholders because we have to look very closely at a number of risk fa factors. And so the members are going to guide us in terms of what feedback we will be given to the ministry. St. Helen Henry says as it relates to the overall e-learning initiative, while there are some notable successes, the initiative has been a challenge and is not 100% effective in all areas of the island. The downside of it is that we are not reaching every student. That is a fact because of lack of resources like the devices and even where devices are present, the issue of internet access is also a problem. St. Helen Henry hopes that all stakeholders can reach consensus on the best way forward for the island's education sector. Good Friday the 15th of May signal the end to the partial shutdown of commercial activity in St. Lucia. It seems like a very real possibility given the statements reiterated by Tourism Minister Dominic Fede on the hot seat. As we previously reported, the minister did indicate on a Canadian travel program that big news is coming on Friday. He reiterated that statement when pressed about the reopening of the local economy. There has been much talk of the reopening of St. Lucia's tourism sector, and this has led to questions about the country's internal commercial activity, which remains at a very limited capacity. Essential businesses, which now include construction supply stores, are allowed to open under set guidelines as outlined by the state of emergency. But increasingly, people are questioning why social distancing protocols and the use of face masks and scarves are not suffice to guide the operation of all businesses and not just essential businesses. It was a question put to Tourism Minister Dominic Fede during the hot seat on Wednesday. Why hasn't the economy opened this yet? Why can't we go to Beauty Max? Why can't we go to the mall for us to shop or for us to just buy other things other than what is presently available? When do you think that will, hope, um, that will happen? So I think we make an announcement on Friday. We have a big national stakeholders meeting uh, where uh, we have received from the command center a comprehensive presentation on um, cab for cabinet's consideration on the a phase opening of the economy. But we've been doing this already. If you look, the supermarkets have remained open, the gas stations, albeit their essential services. Um, we've gone ahead, the next step was the home stores. Then we did uh, adjust the liquor licenses, the manufacturing sector. 
were happening, call centers were operating from home, and they had some minimal operations within their facilities. So there has been that phased opening. Minister Fede says it is not lost on the government the level of success that the country has seen in terms of containing community spread of COVID-19. We feel a lot more comfortable to go forward and potentially um, widen the scope of services that we can now offer. But it is not a time to be complacent. It is a time that we must continue to safeguard ourselves, protect the people that we love. The local private sector has taken a major hit due to COVID-19, and many workers found themselves either terminated or laid off due to the partial shutdown that had to be implemented to contain the virus. Many argue that with safety protocols in place, St. Lucia's economy can reopen. The Barbados Union of Teachers has joined the growing list of objectors across the region which includes the Jamaica government, who have raised serious concerns about the holding of CSEC and CAPE examinations in July. In fact, the union has slammed the adjustment, which was as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, as being more of a business decision rather than one in the best interest of students taking the exam. Here in St. Lucia, the president of the Principals Association, Valerie St. Helen Henry, says there are also serious concerns. Well, the decision that was taken in relation to CXC was at the regional level by the ministers of education. And um, like some islands, we do have a number of principals who are a number of questions and concerns, the risk factors as a number of students will be out there. But, um, and also the, with regards to the change in the um, whole structure of the exam, the, the principals are not all for it, but they're trying their best to cooperate and collaborate and to see what's the best way forward. The CSEC examinations will be administered via an e-testing modality in countries that are equipped with the requisite infrastructure. However, where there are infrastructure challenges, candidates would be allowed to sit paper-based examinations. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Stay with us. There's more coming up after the break. <laughs>